Hey everybody, this is Doug with another short video for my fellow device patients. This one I'm going to talk about smartphones and in particular the iPhone 12 that's been raising a lot of questions lately. Now remember I'm not a medical professional, I'm not giving you medical advice, I'm just some guy on the internet. But my hope is that the information I give you will allow you to make an informed decision on which smartphone you can use safely. Thanks. All right, so it's December of 2020, we're in the middle of the COVID pandemic and I don't have an iPhone. So I'm at a friend's house standing outside doing this video so we can be socially distant and I'm borrowing Jason's iPhone. Thanks very much, Jay. Uh, so let's talk about why using an iPhone 12 might be a concern. The reason is because they have a new item inside the phone. It's a magnet in the back they call MagSafe and it helps connect the phone to the charger and kind of makes it a secure connection. So is that gonna be a problem for us having these implanted medical devices? Well, let's talk about the two things that kind of interfere with our devices or cause problems with our devices and what the medical device companies say about that. The first is magnets, and the second is electromagnetic interference, which iPhones do emit a little bit of electromagnetic interference. Uh, it's a good idea to keep those items, magnets and EMI, away from our device just a short distance because they can cause some problems uh, nothing terribly serious if you're being careful but they can cause some problems with your devices so six inches is the recommendation and that's about that far so the medical device companies recommend a that you keep your cell phone or, or your smartphone about six inches from your device and that you use it on the side opposite of your device mine's on my right side so this is easily uh, six inches or more if you use it on the same side yeah that's that's within the six dis distance range so according to the medical device companies you should avoid using your, your smartphone on the same side. Also, don't uh, lay your smartphone on your chest. Maybe when you're laying down watching a movie, don't leave it there. Don't put it in a, a breast pocket and carry it around that way. Those are just the common sense things that the medical device companies recommend just to prevent any kind of interference between the item that you're using and your implanted device. So using an iPhone 12 is not a problem as long as you follow the already existing guidelines of uh, keeping your smartphone about 12 inches or six inches away from your device. Uh, that's what you do normally anyway, so there's no change to that guidance. The question I have now is, does the magnet inside, is that strong enough to, to cause a reaction with our device? Now, if you remember, with pacemakers, a magnet will cause your device to switch modes to a constant pacing rate, somewhere between 85 and 110 beats a minute, depending on which manufacturer you have. Uh, with an ICD, a magnet will not change your pacing at all, but it will inhibit detections, and that prevents your device from shocking. So it's a good idea not to have a magnet right near your device. So the question again is, is that magnet strong enough to make that switch happen? And the way that I test it out is I place it right on my device. Now I in no way recommend that you do this. I'm doing it so you don't have to. I'm just kind of crazy a little bit in, in that way and I, I like to test these things out. So here goes. MagSafe is closest to the back side of the phone so I'm gonna use that side and I'm gonna place it on my device to see if I can get it to trigger that response. If it does, it will tone and I don't hear anything. I don't have a tone coming from my device. So it's most likely that the magnet inside this device is not strong enough to initiate that response. And therefore, I wouldn't have any problem using the iPhone at all, especially if you're following the manufacturer's guidelines anyway of six inch distance. So that's it. Uh, just remember to maintain a six inch distance between your uh, smartphone and your device. The guidelines haven't changed and uh, they won't change because of the, the new MagSafe system within the iPhone 12. Uh, if you want to learn a little bit more about magnets and electromagnetic interference and how they work with our devices, I have a couple of videos on my YouTube page. You can check those out and I'll link those here as well as in the description of this video. But I uh, hope that information is helpful for you and I hope that you guys have a wonderful holiday season and stay safe.